the grand finals between TNC Tigers and Team EVOS. So there won't be any surprise kills, it's literally just a try lane on try lane and Shadow Demon might even get out of here. They'll go back to base, leave the XP for Anti-Mage. They won't try. Oh, they will. The cast bouncing. And the Sun with the Melodic with the Starfall. Should be enough. He does blink away, but it's not going to save his life. It's kind of rough. But right now, 458 pulling his own creeps again. Running away from Necrophos here for the five-minute rune. The man's got a bottle. He knows what he's doing. Just got to seal it up. He needs those cool sprays to come out. The Mango, the Axes coming in. Beastmaster wrapping around. They need disruption to save his life, but he's going to pop to Necro. And Necro even gets his runes, but Beastmaster getting wrapped around. He did get disrupted up. Another Shadow Poison. It's four. He might need a fifth. Doesn't need it. Blows him up. And Reaper Scythe to cut Shadow Demon down the sides. Even Necrophos gets the kill on Rave King. Now he's running at Nyx. Now he's a good one to him. Punches the Spike Impale. The arrow in the back. It does... Croc a little bit less damage, but they burst him down anyway. The Carapace stuns up Jakiro, and he's now going to run, but in the 4 5 8. But Shadow Demon, he doesn't need a farm. He can find Witch Doctor. Car's going to bounce there, bringing in Necrophos, maybe for an easy Reaper. He's walking in, waiting for the aim. Another Death Pulse, more right clicks. He's going to blow him up. And now, Witch Doctor, two charges. Reaper Scythe on the AM just survives. Witch Doctor's going to make it out, but Necrophos is just going to be taken down almost maybe he takes bristle back with him but no the quill sprays end his life bottom lane smoke from evos it does pop and zephyr's gonna get caught out they just roared to take him out instantly and jakiro's on the run they're either gonna go for the tower or for the heroes another son on beastmaster rape king is pretty low but they're still not keeping him back bristle back pushing the top lane looks like am is still farming though maybe they want to push the top tower at the same time but another son on beastmaster the cast does Land on the Rave King, but no bounces. And Necrophos taking tower shots. They've got all the damage coming in. The Shadow Poison, they're going to disrupt. Maybe. Shadow Demon has to come in, but he bursts down Necrophos. The Mana Void didn't take him out, but he does die in the end. But the arrow does land on the Rave King's face. He does get the shot. Does a little bit of damage to death. Ward just blows off Anti-Mage and Rave King. Goes down to it as well as two kills for Witch Doctor. And now they're going to go for Shadow Demon on the other side. And just take him out for a third. No, a fourth. And top lane. They're setting up for Anti-Mage here. They've got the Rod of Atos to root him down. The Spike in power. Everything is being used. And he will be crushed. Catch out the Chikiro. He's pinging. He knows that something's happening. Yeah, but the stun under the sentry. Ice Path as well. The arrow does land onto Rave King, but he's back up and going. Carapace is going to slow his kill down, but they get it anyway. Rave King crushes him into the ground. But at the same time, they did get Shadow Demon just behind the T1. And maybe they can get Necrophos as well. Ray Fire Blast just going to slow him down, but they popped the reincarnate. So Rave King will be back with full HP, but the arrow will be right into his face. And now every single member of EVOS going to blow up. The Maledict is on him, but they've got the Ghost Shadow Necrophos and no physical damage. But Shikiro will be taken out easily. And same with Rave King. There's no round three for him, and that's three people going down on TNC Tigers while you take their tier one tower. It's quick work for Team Evos here. Rave King's got no interest there. Unless you've got a three-man smoke coming in, that will be popped by Beastmaster. They use the dust. They've found him. Everything. Demonic Purge, Ice Path, Quills is just going to be enough. Nyx Assassin finding Shadow Demon. Does go for him. Spike Impaled. Can't actually disrupt himself now. Necrophos is in. Mighty Reaper Sign. Put a disruption. Just to save a little bit longer. He's probably going to go. Yeah, you can do it with the right clicks too, but now Bristleback, he's got the DD and the Blade Mail on him. So just delay for a couple seconds. You've got the Meldic, you've got the Death Wood, you've got the Spike and Power. On to two. KYXY got caught in there as well. And they still haven't killed Bristle, but he finally bursts. Now Beastmaster coming on in. He will roar him on up. The Axe is flying. Necrophos coming. They've got the roar. They've got the damage. They've got the anti-armor. And Reaper's have to seal the deal. And that man's dead. 94 seconds. 4, 4, 5, 8 to come back. The man's got buyback. It's anti-mage who might go down again the in your dream. Has to be very careful. Carapace, stun. Witch Doctor here as well. Spike and Pal, Death Ward, everything. Anti-Mage respawns to just die again. They even scan out. In your dream has spent so much time dead in the past couple minutes and now in the mid lane. Wraith King has just as reincarnate pop and they're still going to drain all his mana. He does get the blink out in the end, but Necrophos does blink on in. The man's got Aegis. So you're going to have to kill him twice. They've stunned up Jakiro. No macro fire yet. But now Mirana going in. The arrow just almost explodes Jakiro. He does come back from a nice disruption from the Shadow Demon. But he just dies anyway. And now Bristleback probably going to pop to the last Meldic proc. No, just survives the Death Pulse. 
Probably won't be enough to secure the death, but hey, we can watch it. Cool. But we can also watch Evos taking your tier 3, taking your base. Bristleback seeping back in, maybe to just defend it. They need to do something, but anti mage is not in any way to fight. Root down, Bristleback, anti armor, spirit vessel, everything, axes flying, everything they've got just to take him out. But the Reaper Scythe just being held back, just on cooldown for I believe a couple more seconds. Yep, three more seconds, and then if you do that again, Tigers is playing very defensively now. It's a very different Tigers. Dust randomly will not find him, but the mid lane, Bristleback getting gone upon everything again. Another perfect spike in power, even an arrow to top it off. And 458 knows what his fate's going to be. Ice Path does come in. Macro Fire onto Necrophos, but no further commitment because Beastmaster's coming in. The Moonlight Shadow, they've actually found Anti-Mage. Disruption just to save his life, but it might not even be enough there. Spike and Pal, the Ice Pipe was perfect, but he's still being surrounded and just gets taken out by Necrophos. Same with Rave King, but the man's got Reincarnate, but it, it's only around two. You're not going to be able to get out of that. KYXY goes down as Rave King bought back as well. So now it's a 4v5. 458 in there. Has the blade mount. The cast bouncing back and forth. He's just being slowed down, purged up, rooted down. Everything going on to him, but it's not enough to get that kill yet. 458 still leading charge like he's got no fears. In fact, he's going to get rooted down again. Maybe into an arrow. Axes, Meldict, everything. Stunned down. Reaper Siphon. He's gone again. No, the disruption just in time. Zephyr perfectly timed. But he's got to walk away. The Meldict still will do a whole bunch of damage. But they're going to blow up Necrophos. No Aegis left on him. They do get the Bristle back. And now they've got to run because KYXY, he's got blood in his eyes. There we go. Aeon Disc on the Nyx Assassin's coming up. He's walking forward. He's been found. Straight up stunned and straight up blown up. Carapace is just going to delay. And actually, they get Wraith King. He's slowing down. Macrofire down as well. But Marana's jumping on in. They want to go for her. Dust already on, so she's not going to get invisible away. But she's going to be slowed down on the back line. The Beastmaster's gone in onto Anti Major, just taking him out. And now they've used a shrine on Shadow Demon. But the only thing he can do is Shadow Port on Demonic Purge. And that's not going to take out Beastmaster. Jakiro as well. Four people and the fifth is Rave King, and he's already back in base. Four people going down. They're going to buy back instantly on Jakiro. You don't have buyback, but you can go in if you need to. Here we go. He jumps in onto Beastmaster. Gets a stun to Macro Fire, but it's not going to kill anybody. Blade Mail has been popped, but Bristlebacks now in. The Quills will spray. They've almost lost Jakiro, but the disruption saves his life. Reincarnate coming out from Rave King. They've got the Lotus Orb on Necrophos to just dodge all that damage, but they're going to be slowing him down and maybe smack him up. But Bristleback, so low, just gets blown up by Necrophos. And Marana is just hitting like a truck. Anti Mage Mantis out, does blink away, and now Shadow Demon does banish up our friend, the Necrophos. But he's already got the kills and GG's been called and this game goes to EVOS. Congratulations EVOS for taking game one. It's going to be face hugger on the Husker and in your dream on the Dragon Knight. Can actually do a whole bunch of magical damage to you and does do a bit right click. But Zephyr, that's the real problem here. They actually got the Lucent Beam to stun him up. They're going to pick him up telekinesis and the spike impaled. All three of them just wailing on this Husker under the tree. Dick's assassin taking town shots, but they do get the Husker for first blood. And Zephyr, he can't walk that one off, does die. But at the same time, KYXY goes down in the bottom lane to a bounty hunter. They do a rupture. They blood rage up. Jakiro, a little bit extra damage. Maybe Zephyr gets blown up by the Spike Impaled. Slows his kill a little bit, but Bloodseeker going in. He's got that damage. They pick him up, but Luna doesn't have an ultimate. They've got the blood right down, and she's going to lose her own life for this. And now Rubik is being left, but in your dreams coming in. They need this Blood Bounty Hunter, but he goes in. There's no sentries. It's literally just hitting him. That's it. Logic denies. You get no farm. You get no farm from this blood seeker, and you might even die. He's still going in. He's just going to take him down. The ice path does miss, but you don't even need it. A logic is on a killing spree. This man is a goddamn monster. But now bounty. Rubik is gonna go down to the blood seeker as well. They just pick him up, but it's probably just a delay because bounty hunter gets that kill anyway. It's gonna be really hard to kill this husker. He may have heart HP, but the magic resistance. They found him, the smoke is broken. They're gonna pick him up into the eclipse, but is it enough magical burst? They get it. 458 gets the kill he desperately needed. But your tower's just been defended by 458. 
So, how, how do we do? Actually, Rubik just getting run up by Bounce here. Blood Riot as well, just to secure it. Even a Shuriken Toss, but they should be able to get it. Yeah, Blood Seeker gets in, maybe. He wants to go for more. Nyx Assassin just goes visible to rupture onto him. The Carapace gonna slow the man down, but he can't run away. He's on a shrine. Spike Impaled being up, primed up, but now Luna might get the kill. He's got an Eclipse, I believe. No, it's still on cooldown. Do they lose Nyx Assassin? Now Blood Seeker takes her down too. That three kills. Dragon Knight is actually going in as well. They're gonna try and blow down Bounty. They do get it with the Rubik Fade Bolt, and now Bloodseeker just gets out. He's got boots. He's got 12k gold, and I think it's going to be for a Midas. But right now, they've just killed Nyx in mid lane. Bounty actually getting stunned up, but it's actually going to be Dragonite who has to run away because Bloodseeker's here. But Blade Mouth didn't pop. The Eclipse is not doing enough damage to blow him up, but in goes Husker. Right on the Omnite. Does repel a little bit out, but now he's got to run back the other way because everybody on TNC Tiger's coming in. They do get the Husker, but now Bloodseeker being picked up. The Blood Rite secures the Luna, and they take down Omnite too. Dragonite is a third, and the fourth is Rubik. He's still going to get back to his base, but that's four going down for one Husker. He's going to find Omni Knight here. He could try and kill him. He did steal the rune, and now he's just running away. Just like a thief in the night. Just because the creep out to slow him down a little bit, but the D-General is actually doing its work. Nyx Assassin comes in. He's going to get Spike Belt. Aims it. Aims it. And it lands. He's fine, but they got a rupture onto Omni Knight as well. Bloodseeker's here, but he's got to run away. The entire team of TNC Tigers is there. They have Carapace up. He's going to be able to TP out, but they do pick him up the Telekinesis, and this is going to be the big kill he needs. He's going to take KYXY with him. He just heals up a little bit more, but a spike in pale is being primed. He needs to aim it perfectly. In your dream, just gets it in the end. But Dragonite getting tracked up too. A little more double damage they see. The Blood Rider coming out, but Omni Knight is being ruptured up. They've stunned up the Blood Seeker, but he's just going to go in. They've got another loose and beam, but the BKB has been popped. And on the other side, Luna's going to try and take down Jakira, but can't do that. And Blood Seeker's just going to be ripping apart your Dragon Knight. Nice little one charge, but it's not going to save your life because Nyx Assassin. You're the next thing on the menu. Bloodseeker just needs to be able to get there. And maybe that's enough movement speed. Another Blood Rite coming out. Carapace the Sun and saw him down to make sure Bloodseeker can't come in. But Beastmaster's on the run. Does get the raw on to Rubik. Ice Puff, Jewel Breath, everything. No, not Ice Puff, but you can take him out anyway. And your tier threes. There's four people going down. Your only defense is a Nyx Assassin. And you got Husker, who can hit these buildings so hard. Dragon Breath coming out, but it's not going to keep him at bay. It does lower the damage a little bit, but still... He's still here, Rubik. Fade Bolt to lower that damage even more, but now he's just going to die. The Ice Buff was great, but they're going to pick him up, put him into the base. He's by himself, and on the other side, they've actually got Zep 458 going on the team. They've already popped down Bo Bounty Hunter, but it's Husker. It's Bloodseeker. They've popped the Aegis onto one, and now 458 getting run up. He's going to go down. He's got ruptured up, but Bloodseeker does end up dying. And now Husker's left by himself with a low Beastmaster and a low Jakiro. They've popped Jakiro, and now Husker's going in on Dragon Knight. He needs more damage, but a nice little Dragon Tail stops that Damage coming in, and in your dream, he's gonna survive. You might want to try for another one. Oh, they have found our friend the Rubik, but they put Bounty on top of a cliff. But they do roar up Luna, and that's the big kill they want. They're gonna rupture up Luna to keep rupture up Rubik. They keep him the way, and they get both of them. But they're going on the back lines. It's just Shakiro though. He's only in position five at the same time. They've blown up Omni Knight, and now Bloodseeker's looking for more. He wants blood. But Dragonite's moving to the south. That's the wrong jungle, my friends. And they can take your base from here. The tier 2 tower's primed and ready to go. The creeps are in position. Husker. They've smoked out. They want to find someone. And they will wrap in the two. The courier is there. But the smoke is broken. Beastmaster will get picked up in the spike and pound. And they're going to try and blow up before he can get the raw off. But he's so tanky. They've got the dragon breath. But it's not enough. They get the raw onto Nyx to push him back a little bit. But he's moving still. And he's ruptured up. They've got the guardian's angel. But Bloodseeker kills you anyway. And now Husker. He wants to burn down everyone, but the Eclipse is coming in. There's no BKB on Husker, so he's taking the damage, but the man's got magic resistance. And he's taking out KYXY as well, and in your dreams, running back behind his base, but he's still getting chased by everybody. Nice ice path coming in. The man's dead as well. Four people do go down. Rubik is the only person on the high ground, just steals the spell and TPs out. He's got the ice path, but he survives. And your base, it's just gonna go. GG is called. Congratulations, Evos. Taking this grand finals away from TNC Tigers.